Hi, this is Ashok here. I'm a trainer for CFA and you are watching Phoenix training YouTube channel where I make content pertaining to uh, CFA and investment banking topics. This is a CFA level one question from equity and uh, dividend discount model. So let's see this. See a stock recently paid a dividend of 1.50. Uh, which is expected to grow at 8 percentage per year. So dividend is expected to grow at 8 percentage per year. The required rate of return is 12 percentage. Calculate the value of the stock if it will be priced at 51 3 years from now. 3 years from now. So this is multiple uh, uh, multiple year you know growth dividend discount model. So 3 years from now. So 1 0 1 I mean this is 1 uh, 2 and then 3 so recently paid 1.50 and it is growing at 8 percentage per annum so here I will add 8 percentage that comes to 1.5 plus 8 percentage 6 1.62 plus 8 percentage it will come to 1.7496 so i am just rounding it off to 1.75 plus 8 percentage comes to 1.89 this this is the dividend that i can expect from this company and at the end of the third year third year it will be sold for 51 so these are the cash flows 51 so these are the cash flows how do i find out the present value of the stock okay so you all you have to do is remember this line present value is equal to present value of all the expected cash flows all the expected expected as in future in future whatever cash flows are expected of all the expected cash flows and these are all the expected cash flows and i just have to take the present value of all these cash flows so number one 1.62 this i will discount it with the required rate of return 12 percentage so this is for one year because from the present value it is one year away so 1.62 divided by 1.12 comes to 1.45 1.45 then the second one which is 1.75 i take the discounted value so this is for two years so this comes to 1.395 it comes to 1.395 okay so and then the third one is i need to add this first of all so this comes to 52.89 and i will discount it for three years so this comes to 37.65 37.65 so overall when i add all this it comes to 40.48 so 40.48 this is the present value of the stock this should be the present value of the stock okay all right thank you